five, a Beacon Falls kennel operator is facing animal cruelty charges after a dog died while in his care. Now, this all happened at Beacon Paws on Old Turnpike Road, and Channel 3's I-Team discovered this is not the first time a dog has died there. Consumer investigative reporter Cassidy Williams joins us to explain exactly what happened here. Cassidy. Earlier this month, the family of four was going to Disney World. They left their one-and-a-half-year-old bulldog at the Beacon Paws kennel. When they returned from vacation, the dog was dead. The family is now asking how both the kennel and the state allowed this to happen to more than one animal. Artemis, or Artie for short, was a beloved member of his family. He was just a, a playful, great, great dog. I mean, uh, all he wanted to do was be a, a couch potato. He was your typical American um, bulldog. You could call Pat Artie's uncle. It was his sister's dog. Pat is asking we don't use his last name for legal reasons as this case plays out in court. When his sister's family went on vacation, Pat was listed as the emergency contact for Artie at the Beacon Paws Kennel. The kennel is owned by Gina Meter. The day-to-day -day operations are run by her husband, George. It was George who texted Artie's mom on January 4th, saying in part, Artie picked up a few nicks while playing, and that it was nothing vet worthy, not a big deal. She responded, okay, our boy is okay. Thank you for letting us know. George responded, yes, he's fine, no worries. 36 hours later, a phone call. Artie was found dead in his kennel on Friday, January 6th. Why did he allow the dog to lie there for 36 hours, 36 hours? Police had similar questions. The arrest warrant for George Meter says a veterinarian found there was a neglect to render care, basic first aid, and negligence in not seeking veterinary care immediately following the incident. Meter is charged with cruelty to animals. We have a lot of questions. We have a ton of questions. Channel 3's I-Team filed a records request with the state asking for all complaints and investigations into Beacon Paws. Since the business opened in 2012, four complaints. Three because dogs died at the kennel or shortly thereafter. One complaint was for a dog that was injured. The owner was given a written warning twice for cruelty to animals and several other warnings about violating codes like segregation of dogs. If there was four known cases, that at least we know of, they're documented, why was it not investigated further? Um, why did he get away with just a written warning? We tried asking the state those questions. The Department of Agriculture regulates kennels and pet shops. A spokesperson declined a request for an interview, saying as a matter of agency policy, we do not discuss internal procedures for enforcement. Pat wants the kennel shut down to make sure Artie is the last dog this happens to. We want justice for Artie. Uh, for my sister's family, and we want to ensure that this is never going to happen again to another family. Beacon Paws is still open. I spoke with George Meter over the phone. He told me he is extremely upset about what happened to Artie, but he can't comment further because of the legal case. Artie's family is talking to a lawyer about a possible civil suit as well. For the IT, Cassidy Williams, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.